welcome to my channel if you're new and welcome back if you're back. I'm super, super excited for today's video. I'm here with Tuna today. She's joining me. Um, but I've ordered some more dolls <laughs> from online and um, I'm not sure which ones they are because I've ordered a couple and I'm really excited to see who is in these boxes and I'm going to do a deep cleaning of them and just unbox them with you guys. I'm super excited. So um, Tuna seems to be into it too. So let's get into it. I'm sorry, Tuna. Okay. So I'm starting with this little one first. I have an idea of who it might be, but I'm not, oops, certain. Don't do that, kiddos. Don't ever put your fingers in the way of scissors. So I'm just cutting it. Hi, you're scaring me a little being around here with the sharp pointy things. I am not, this is a lot of tape. She's very safe in there, whoever this doll is. Good for her. Okay. Oh, I think I know who it is and I'm really excited. Hold on, let me see I'm still recording. Yeah, okay. Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Wow. Bubble wrap, all the accessories. Oh, heck yeah. Never mind. Okay. These are a bunch of Monster High accessories that I got recently. Oh, that's super exciting. Okay, um, let's go through all of these. Wow, delightful. Okay. So, yeah, I ordered these on Facebook Marketplace because I joined all these Monster High groups and um, there's all these groups and lots of people are selling things and you can buy little individual things. And that's what I did recently. How delightful. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. So, these Abbey boots... Oh my god, you guys. Hold on, I'll get a little closer to the camera to show you guys all this stuff. Oh my god, how delightful. Okay. These freaking boots. With, like, the poofs and the crystals and the fake fur and they belong to Abby and I want to paint them with, like, pale pink pom-poms and straps. I think that would be so cool. I love them. Um... These boots are so cool. I got them for doll custom repainting purposes. I'm not sure who they belong to, but look at them. They're so gorgeous. They just remind me of like goth boots, like Demonios or something. I wonder if they're ever after high. Um, oh, these are so cool. These look like Draculaura roller skates. I think that's who they are. Unfortunately, they don't roll, it looks like, but they're so cute. Look at that. I love that they have like a little fang and then the little heart. And the little bat heart with the bat wings at the top. Oh my god. And then these shoes. These Claudine shoes. I think they might be for Haunted Claudine. But I just got them because I have these gorgeous moons and chains. And they would be super cool in a repaint or on one of my dolls. Either or. These are sick. Oh my god. Okay. These I definitely got for a repaint. They're just like these little leaf shoes. I bet they're ever after high. Well. Look at them, look at all the detail. Holy cow. And like their little sprouts and vines. Oh my goodness. Uh, this I got so I could repaint it for one of my Draculauras because my Draculauras are all missing their umbrellas and now they don't have to be anymore. <laughs> and oh my God, that is so detailed. Okay, I got this little backpack that's like a coffin and it has these red straps and like look at the zipper. The zipper is like a little skeleton hand, like, who thinks of these details? It's so neat, it's just like a little tombstone or like with a door looking thing. It's ghouly as obviously there's like the um, skull with the glasses, but oh my goodness. I didn't know this bag opened, but this is this really cool scarab beetle bag. That's probably Nephra's, might be Cleo's, but it's so gorgeous. Oh my God. Oh. I'm like shaking a little bit. These are so cool. Oh, wow. Okay, sorry. These shoes, they're probably Draculaura's. I don't know, but they're so cute. They have these pink laces and this like pink and this black heart and the entire sides of them is dripping. Oh my God. I want these shoes in my size. You know, that's the saddest thing about Monster High shoes and clothes is that like, 
they're doll sized and it's so sad but these are so cool oh my gosh okay these are definitely some claudine shoes i think they might be from 13 wishes i'm not sure though they have these black moons on them and all these little gold spikes and these like gold chain details they would be so cool for a repaint eventually that's sweet oh i needed um shoes for my original frankie doll um one of them is missing her shoes my reboot one and yay new frankie shoes that's so good this is so cute it's like Dracula. i think it's from one of her fashion packs but it has like a black bow as the strap on the handbag and then the handbag is made of like a fake pink leather material and the back has like a little zipper with a tiny skull and then there's like little hot pink bows down it i got it to kind of replace the um missing bag for my um monster exchange draculaura because i got her recently she didn't have her bag but now she has this and it kind of looks like hers <laughs> so it works these are so cool it's like icicle shoes i think they're for abby and they have these like gorgeous flowers on them and they're so pretty oh oh my gosh yes 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 that is very exciting. Sunglasses. For my Draculaura Roadster who's missing her sunglasses. These are so cute. Oh my god. They're like pink and they have this little bow in them. Oh my god. How precious. Little doll sunglasses are so cute. Oh my gosh. These are sick. Could you imagine having these in like your own size? These are so sweet. Um, they're like silver chains and like little studs and like, oh my gosh, these are so gorgeous. Look at them. I think they're for Spectra. Lots of my Spectras are missing their shoes, so this will be good. And this, oh my gosh, it has the strap. I got this for a repaint project. I'm really excited to repaint it. It's like this cool little cauldron. It even has the cauldron strap and it. I can repaint the bubbling part too, but that's so cool. Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay. These are sick. Okay. Moon shoes, black moon shoes. These are probably for Claudine. How gorgeous. How freaking cool. They have like a moon in the middle and a moon as the heel. Man. Oh, cool. My Dot Dead Gorgeous Lagunas are all missing their shoes. And now I finally have a pair. They are such precious shoes. They're like pink clamshell looking things with a pearl in the center. Like, are you kidding me? That's adorable. Ooh, whose are these? Huh. I think I didn't get these. These are just like bonus ones, maybe. I don't know. They look like red original Frankie shoes. That's cool. Oh, Frankie fashion pack. Look at this little blue jacket with its little pocket and its little straps. And this cute little top. Oh my god, my Frankies are going to be so fashionable. Look at that. And this dress, that's so funny because I actually went to the thrift store today and found a doll that was wearing this dress. But hey, two of them. It's so pretty. Um, it's like this pink and black Draculaura dress. has all these little um, skeletons all over it and it has ribbon at the bottom and the sides are ruched and then it has like this cute little neck strap thing. Oh my gosh, that's exciting. And... This is so cool. Are you kidding me? What? Little eyeball dress with this really cool skirt and like, oh my god, the quality is so nice and it's so poofy. Like it has this inner lining thing that makes it really poofy. That's so cool. These shoes are so cute. I love them with the little heart heels. Heart heels and the hearts all over them and the kind of drippy stuff on the back. And there's like bat wings up the sides like that's so cool Ooh, these operetta shoes yes my operetta was missing her shoes oh my god that's perfect yeah they have dice as the heel and then they have like spider webs going up the back of them and there's like spider webs on the toe part like the you know front part of the shoe like a little skullette with a bow like that's mm, so detailed oh my gosh i'm so excited to put all these outfits and new pieces on my dolls that's so freaking cool okay I'm really excited, but I definitely thought this was something else. So I'm really curious as to what came and when my other thing is coming because let's 
let's see, let's see, let's see. What is in here? Okay. Very securely packaged. This is who, oh my gosh. Okay, I'm like a little overwhelmed. This is like, this is one of my dream dolls. This is like my dream doll. You guys. Can we all take a moment for Sweets Creams Frankie? Oh my gosh. Sweet Screams is one of my favorite doll lines. I think it's so cool. And I know it's super sought after. And I, oh my god, oh my god. Oh. Oh, it's like scary to cut the tape. So I don't want to mess her up. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. I'm excited to fix her hair. Oh wow. Okay. Okay, sorry. I need to <laughs> take a minute to take it all in. I'm going to make her um her hair accessory because I know when I bought it that it was mi that she was missing her hair accessory. Oh, her hair's in such nice condition though. Like I know it's tangled, but like it's so silky. Okay, let's take a look at this together, you guys. Okay. Her hair. <laughs> okay, because I don't know if you've seen my um, doll my doll collection video, you know. That Sweet Cream Frankie is one of my favorite dolls, and that I found her at the thrift store missing her arms and all of her accessories, and also with her bangs chopped off, which was like so sad because she's such a cool doll. That's her right there. But this one, with her hair, with her bangs, and her little bump it thing, I need to like wash it and figure out exactly how to make it back perfectly um, in its original style. Um, there's red streaks and black in her like white hair and then her bangs are like perfectly like striped like could you imagine having that as a hairstyle that would be such a good look I mean it would be hard to keep in in looking proper but oh my god that would be so cool okay and her earrings are these tiny little drippy hard candies and they're black and I think they would be so cool if they were painted black and white so I might do that um but we'll see and her jacket oh my goodness it's this red fake leather with these black straps and this amazing design where it's like drippy and it just looks so shiny and so like hard candy it's not like fake leather it's like pvc it's so cool and then over top of it she has this black belt with all these little hard candies on it you guys and then her tie has like a little hard candy as the center thing and then like twisty rope around it and then black and red stripes and then underneath it oh my gosh let's look at her dress oh her bracelets too and her little gloves ah okay let me take off okay take off the belt set it aside her dress you guys her dress it's like black and white striped with drips and it's like this gorgeous satiny material that feels so nice and the tinselly part around her skirt is in like perfect condition like most of my dolls all their skirts that have like little pieces and bits and like tulle and stuff on it are like ripped but hers is perfect condition and she has her bracelets there's one on this side that's like a little twisty round with candies on either side and then a black glove and then on this side it's a red glove with just all these little candy balls like stacked together and dripping at the wrist and her shoes her shoes are so cool I love how they used like super shiny black paint on the bottom of them so the back has this 
So the first thing I'm doing is removing the arms and all the clothes and accessories and setting those aside because I don't want to lose anything. Um, and once everything is off, I decided not to um, wash these clothes the way that I normally do because the texture is very like vinyl-y and plasticky and there's lots of like shimmery stuff and I just wasn't sure if it would survive oxyclean and laundry detergent so I just decided to leave those aside and just um, wash the doll's hair and body instead. So I'm removing the elastics from her hair and I already took note of how the hair was done so I'm able to replicate it um, when it's done drying and being cleaned and stuff. Once the hair is out of its elastics the first thing I do is take a toothbrush that I only use for doll stuff and I use some dish soap to just scrub the doll, um, her face and her body really really well and then I rinse it out. Then I just wash the hair with some shampoo. Normally I would wash the hair with dish soap first but she didn't have the amount of glue seepage that dolls normally have. She was in really really nice condition. Um, so I just used a little bit of shampoo on it, let it sit for a couple minutes and then rinse it out. Once it's all rinsed out and clean I can apply some conditioner and just let that sit for 30 minutes I think I left her for. To make sure that her bangs don't get mixed in with the rest of her hair and get all messed up, I'm just using a tiny black elastic to separate them out. Um, this, this helps with dolls that have bangs while you're washing their hair. And just leave her to sit in the conditioner. And while I do that, I scrub all the accessories, um, the shoes, the earrings, the arms and everything. Um, with my little toothbrush and some dish soap. And then I rinse everything out using a colander because I'm really paranoid about losing a little accessory or something. So I just find that to be the safest way to do it. And then I set everything aside to dry. And since her hair has been sitting for long enough, I'm able to brush it out. And I'm just using a wide tooth comb and then using the finer parts of it once uh, the tangles have gotten out. And just um, while the conditioner is in, brushing it through and rinsing it out and brushing it through. Once that's done, I just set her out to dry on a towel with all her accessories and her clothes, and she's ready to go. Okay, hi, <laughs> it's me again. It's been like two months, honestly, this poor girl has been sitting naked and armless in this mug for two months because I got sidetracked with other things and I feel so bad, but I'm ready to complete her and show you the end of the video and finally she can go on my shelves. Um, so I kind of tried to do her hair, but I realized I missed a spot, so let's do it again together so you can see how the hairstyle is done and um, also I guess I'll just chat about uh, what I've been doing <laughs> for two months, <laughs> so if you're interested, let's go! So she has this like little ponytail thing and this part is supposed to go in there too. So let me just take it out and restart that. But basically, I've had a pretty good two months, honestly. Um, I put a, a listing up on my Etsy for like custom dolls and I ended up getting a bunch of orders, which was amazing. So I got to make a bunch of custom dolls for people, which was so, so cool. I think I'll um, throw up a couple pictures if you're interested in seeing them. Alrighty. Um, but it was super, super cool because I got to like make all these different characters for people um, and just like lots of OCs and like fun stuff like that. Let me put this back in here. And it was super delightful, but I was super busy with that and also with my job. Um, good, lucky, lucky me, um, new, new exciting thing in my life, I got um, promoted at my job. So that's really cool. Um, Basically, um, I used to be a barista at my job, which is, um, I work at a cat cafe, so it's a combination of a barista and a cat nanny, essentially, where you look after the cats. Um, but now I'm a supervisor. These are official job titles, by the way. Um, not just me being punny for no reason. Okay. So with the hair, the way it's done is that there's these, there's like this longer part in the back that's um, like black and red striped in the middle and then the white on the other two sides and all that hair is pretty long. No, I guess that one goes down. And then in the front, there's basically, you take the two front sections from around the ears and like put them up into a little bun and then into a little ponytail. 
that's what we're trying to recreate as per the the box style you know all right um so yeah basically i'm a supervisor at work now how cool is that um i still get to hang out with the cats all the time which was my biggest concern in taking um the position but yeah super delightful i feel very grateful to get to work with cats in like my dream job uh, basically they're all rescued um, cats from the area that I live in um, like previously abandoned cats and um, they stay at the cafe for two weeks and in that time they can get adopted and basically they stay until they get adopted um, and we've just been crazy with adoptions lately like just so so many Hold on, how did I do this? I messed up. Oh, I see. I think I see. I think I did the, the pony in the wrong way. So they're all rescued cats and they all can find homes. Um, and then like on the, it's like there's a glass um, kind of separator <laughs> in the shop. So there's cats on one side and the cafe on the other side. Obviously, like Alberta Health Services would not be happy with um, cats in the food area, so that's why they're separate, but, um, right now we have a poor baby who had to get a lion cut, so he shaved, his name's Sergey, and there's another elastic. Okay, I think I've figured it out now. Okay, yeah, so you take the two part top parts of the bangs and put them up through an elastic, like two little pigtails, brush it out, then... Basically, you want to make a little um, bun in the front with itself. So just take that, and it's a tiny little bun. Like that. And I know it doesn't look perfect yet, but never fear. We take this long part that's <laughs> left over, and then you kind of put it over itself like a little bump it. So we take all this part, Man, it was so much smoother when I did it the first time, it seemed. Alrighty, but it's been two months. Yeah, so basically, yeah, supervisor at work, so that's cool, but I have been getting more shifts, um, but that's okay. And, but yeah, so this cat, Sergey, poor baby, came in, um, apparently um, really beat up, so they had to shave him, because um, he had, you know, lots of scars and stuff under his fur, and they wanted to make sure that everything was okay. So now he's a little lion cut, and he just looks so ridiculous, and he has the biggest head, and he has this smallest little meow, like it's like a very, very little, like, meow, you know, like a little wind chime, broken wind chime baby. And then there's this kitty named Dimitri, and I love him so much. He is a beautiful brown tabby, and he looks like, you know those, like, cartoon girl cats? How they always have, like, really pretty eyes? He looks like that, but he's a boy. And he's so sweet. He like, his favorite thing is to be on people's shoulders. So he'll just like climb up onto your shoulder and immediately start purring. And he just like wants to be held. And he's just like such a little baby boy. And I love him and he's a year old. And then there's one named Tiny Todd. And he's seven months old and he's like a little kitten and he's really mischievous. And he kind of bullies the other cats a little bit because lots of times the younger cats will bully the other ones a little bit. Um, but he's super playful and just like a total little, little man. Okay, that looks like a nice shape that we like. Try to get it in there. And like, it's not perfect. I'm obviously not a professional hairstylist. You can tell by how I do my own hair very clearly that I am not a professional hairstylist. But I think it's okay. Yeah, look at that. It's like a cute little, little thingy. It's very similar to the one that Draculaura in her Monster Exchange has. Okay. I might have to boil wash it to get that little kink out. But for now, I'm gonna just spray it with some water and hope for the best. It's not gonna do anything, but. Yeah. Very nice. Oh, her hair is such nice quality, you guys. Holy cow. Okay, now let's give her a little bang trim. Make sure all the bangs are nice and straight. I'll fix up her bangs at the end probably as well. Um, okay, so that's what she looks like. Um, let's get her outfit on her. 
And yeah, so basically, because of everything that's going on, but mostly it's the doll customs that have been taking up my time, but to be fair, they've been super fun. I'm just taking a break from them right now, because I want to just make some original dolls and post them up on Etsy and see if anyone likes them, like if I can sell those. Um, and then maybe once I have like a good amount of those up, I might open commissions back up, but um, yeah, it was just like a lot of of work and I was getting a little overwhelmed and I wanted to get back to doing YouTube because it's been like a month since I uploaded anything so um, thank you guys for still sticking with me I appreciate that um, and I have like multiple videos filmed I just need to edit them like you guys it's been I've been buying a lot of secondhand dolls like secondhand Monster High dolls and I've filmed like a lot of or like I filmed one video because I freaking bought someone's Monster High collection and filmed a video of unboxing it. Um, but I've also just been saving every doll that I like have randomly found in a thrift store over the past couple months in a box and I wanted to do a video of that. Um, and I'm just like super sad right now because like all these dolls are in a box and I just like can't make a video because I've just been like busy and like my phone storage is full so I need to like edit the videos and put them out before I can make it's a whole very first world problem thing. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, basically I do have videos planned. Um, lots of them are doll related. Um, maybe I'll do some more fashion ones eventually. I just haven't really been feeling like doing fashion makeup videos lately. I've just really wanted to do doll stuff. Um, I'm like very into dolls now. You know, it's like, I don't know. They're just like little fashion art pieces and they just, bring me so much joy to look at and oh my gosh I don't think I'll be purchasing any like um of my like grail dolls like the sweet screams Frankie for a while now um just because I collected a lot of secondhand ones and I think that just like in terms of collections I should just try to be more patient because eventually dolls will come along for like a very good price like this collection that I got where it was like four dollars each doll basically and they were all like complete with accessories and like just it was ridiculous um so yeah I've just been like really really feeling the monster high vibes and I love how more people are like posting about it on the internet as well um like I love to see other people's monster high content I like I'm constantly looking on YouTube to see like <laughs> if Raven Rye or Claudina Nine like uploaded some Monster High thing that I can watch, um, it's very exciting when that happens. So, yeah, dolls are just very special, and I know that um, the the collector dolls are gonna come out like the with the original kind of thing. That's cool. Um, I would love it if they just did like new designs, but I love that they're giving the opportunity to like collect the original ghouls but I also feel like they're gonna be ridiculously expensive I'm not super into that because this like when it was in stores it can't have been that expensive I think they were around like 25 30 bucks but the detail and the quality and the hair and the makeup and the creativity man I really hope that that live action that they do turns out good and not like this kind of wink Sega Riverdale kind of vibe that's what I'm like really scared of you know okay eh, final piece oh my gosh what a freaking icon you guys look at her she is so freaking pretty Oh my gosh, Miss Frankie, I love you. Look at you. Yeah. I really, really like her. I'll have to show you guys a picture of her on my shelf with all my other Frankies, um, even though she will be like kind of the queen, the star. It's like, I always feel bad having like favorites of dolls, but like, how could you not? She's so good. Okay. Okay, so last night also I decided to make Frankie's hair accessory for her, like the Sweet Screams one. So I just used some clay and some hot glue and then like an old little hair clip to secure it in. And yeah, I forgot to 
show how I made it or any of that in the video, but look at it. It's so freaking cute. I'll put some pictures of her with her new hair clip because it's amazing. Okay, that's all. Thanks. Bye. I'm really sorry. I like have just been like fodding over this doll for this entire video. Um, but I hope that you enjoyed watching it. Um, I really appreciate you spending your time with me. Um, I hope you're having a good day or night. And if you're not, I'm really sorry. And I hope it improves soon. Um, I'm sending you a big hug. Um, please stay safe out there. I know there's a lot going on right now and I'm just sending a lot of positivity out there to you. Um, please take care of yourself. Please be kind to yourself and your loved ones and just like give yourself a hug like from yourself for me and like maybe kiss your shoulder or something. It's a nice feeling. Okay, sorry. That's like not meant to be creepy. I just like, hmm. Be nice to yourselves, you guys. Um, thank you so, so much for watching and um, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.